Uh, whoops. Top of the power pole now, <laughs> the feast post. <laughs> Disconnect the planter, I can move that way. There we go. Nothing to see here. Magic. <laughs> How's it going? Doing well, mate. Yourself? Yeah, yeah. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. It's good. We'll uh, jump straight into some planting again. Keep this canola going. We got that last field finished uh, after the last episode and uh, ready to move into this one. Sounds good. This is our last uh, field to plant as well, isn't it? Well, for today, we've got that corn and cotton we're going to be planting. Oh, up at field 33. Yeah, 33 yeah. and the one over the road, number 12, the one with the pivot in it. Oh yeah, I was pretending I ignored that one. <laughs> yeah, hey, I think we were robbed Red overnight. Fields. I think we were robbed as well, by the way. What was that? That uh, windrow is gone. It's not there. The dirty one. Yeah. Well, you said it was dirty. I thought it was clean, but <laughs> it's not. It's not there anymore. It's gone. I think the mud's got so much into it, it just disintegrated. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Right, let's get going with this planting, eh? Cool, mate. All right. All right, well, hello everyone. Welcome back to West Texas. We're going to jump straight into some more canola. We finished the last field off after uh, the last episode. We left the worker going on that, and they got that tidied up for us, which was great. So we're over here, field number uh, two, getting canola into this one as well. We've topped the planters up with seed and uh, all ready to go. So it looks like... Once that's finished unfolding, it takes a little bit, there we go, get that nice whir going. We're just going to go and jump straight into seeding here. So as we were saying, we've got this field to do, and then over the road, the round field, we're going to put some cotton in. It's not quite cotton planting time yet, the temperature is just a touch too low. Uh, and likewise for the corn, which is what we're going to put into field 33, it is also a little bit low over there. So once we've got this in, we'll probably uh, skip forward a day and get to a point where we can uh, plant those other fields. I was just having FSG on as well about the windrow. I've given it a clean, it's put away in the shed. All nice and spick and span. So you can't have a go at me about it anymore. Alright, let's. Uh, we'll jump into a bit of a time lapse I think for planting this field and uh, get the work done. So just a brief little interlude there, as my game lost connection to the server unfortunately. So we'll start that time lapse off again, just running up the top headland here. Um, some guy is right behind us, so we will carry on and uh, jump into that time lapse I was telling you all about.
so there we go FSG is just finishing off that last little piece there and we will be all done so I guess we will get these planters back over to the farm get them washed down because I think the other two fields oh, actually the cotton will be planting with these uh, in fact the corn will be planting with these too so we'll still be putting a fair few hours on them before we can uh, put them away properly oh he might want to have a chat Let's go and see him. That was a uh, fast work, Ox. We certainly uh, knocked that one out pretty quick. These early riser planters just make it so easy, don't they? They do. I was just saying, I thought we were going to be putting them away, but we'll probably need them for the cotton and corn as well. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah. Oh well, maybe they'd need a quick wash before we tuck them into bed. Be rude not to. Alright, I'll see you there. See you back at the shed. Alright, so there you go, we will head back over to the farm, give them a clean down, and get them all filled up, ready to go and tackle the cornfield and the cotton fields. So there goes FSG, his planter and tractor looking spick and span, so we better get out and do the same with ours I suppose. And there we go, that all looks pretty good to me. So we will head over. Go and get some more uh, fertilizer and seed put in these. So I think the plan will be to head on to the next day and uh, we should then be able to plant our corn and cotton. So there we are, all topped off, full of seed, full of fertilizer. And I think I saw a farm some guy had just parked up out the front here. So we will go and park up next to him and uh, make our plans for getting some more work done. Safety first there with the beacons on, Alex. I didn't want you to get run over in the yard. It'd be a uh, health and safety nightmare. <laughs> yeah, the speed you drive, it's probably a high risk of that. I'd be more worried about the lag I drive with. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to go have a bit of a barbecue and uh, crack into some more work tomorrow. Sounds like a plan to me, mate. All right, you get the steaks, I'll bring the beer. Project that. Morning, mate. Morning. You have a bit of a sleep and too many beers last night. It's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, I kind of fell asleep in one of the deck chairs here. That would have been a nice comfy spot to be. Time to go and plant some corn, you reckon? Sounds like a plan to me. All Let's right. do it. Get over to field 33. We'll see you there. All right, welcome back. Another morning on the farm. Let's see. Farm some guys are jumping in this tractor there. We're going to head over to field 33 over the far side. And uh, we are going to get some corn planted there, so I'll make sure I change my seed now. And we will head off. Since a big payday in this field. If it uh, yields well and we can run it through that corn dryer, fingers crossed, it's going to be a uh, good one. For sure it is, yep. We need to just keep an eye on the fertilisation of it, I think. Uh, I think so. I think we might be a bit touch and go on being able to do it with the seed we have as well. We might need to uh, get some more poured over. Yeah, I did say that on the way out. I said I'm wondering if we'll be able to fill, do the whole field without a refill. Right, we've, got the, we go. we've got the meridian trailer back at the farm so we could run that over. That's true, we do. Right, we better get on with it. Let's crack into it. Let's go. Right, so here we are over at field 33. We'll uh, head down at this end, follow farm some guy down, and make a start on the headlands down the far end. It's a very large field this one, but as he said, if we can uh, get a decent amount of corn, get it well looked after, and get it yielding high, we uh, could be in for a decent payday off it, particularly using the dryer we have back at the yard. Alright, there we go. FSG is off. I can see that beautiful corn texture. Or well, the uh, row crop texture we have here. So I'm confident he has selected the correct crop. I'd hate for him to just carried on planting canola. There we go. We'll get our planter dropped down. We'll just 
slide over a little bit to make sure we're maximising our coverage and crank into this field. Uh, I think we'll put together a little bit of a montage here. We had a time lapse in the last one, so we'll uh, grab some nice shots of the wonderful early riser planter on the uh, equally impressive magnum there, getting some planting done. So I'm just coming up to the end of this run. FSG is a couple of uh, rows behind me. But we're getting down. We're on to our last 7% of our seed. We're not going through the fertiliser too much. So we'll certainly have enough of that left to finish. But in terms of the field, we are certainly over halfway. But I need to go back and I'm going to go pick up the truck. I'm going to put the Meridian Tendal trailer on the back. And we will go and bring some more seed down. I'll obviously only need to bring us enough to top off both the planters, so we'll uh, turn this off here, park it over on the headland, and uh, we'll go and get that sorted out, and then we will be able to get finished in here and back to the farm. Well, it's a little bit excessive probably bringing this down to top the uh, planters off, but it is the only way we have to transport any seed. So I'm going to put 200 bushels in here, that should be enough to top both the uh, planters off, I think they're 100 bushels each. So we'll get that in here and then we'll get back down to the field and be able to get that all finished off. Looks like FSG has got both our planters nicely lined up for us. So let's see. Can it negotiate down here through the ditch? We'll put the arm out and see if we can uh, reach across to the planters there. Pretty close. If we just get backed in. Oh. There we are. Just drive forward a little bit and it will be going into the sea tank just like that. Alright, pull forward here.
And we'll get this one in the right spot. There we go. Perfect. Just like a bought one. And 15 bushels left behind. Alright, so there we are. We've got both the uh, planters topped back up again. Worked out quite well, actually. Both being ready here. So we will jump back into our planter here. Get those covers closed and uh, head off and uh, get this all finished out. Only a few hundred feet to go right here on the last run on the outside. Just make sure I stay over on the edge and we get it all. FSG's obviously running down behind us there picking up that last narrow little piece. And then we'll be all done with the corn which has uh, been a fantastic effort. Looking Actually I'm, I'm already looking forward to harvesting this field. I think it's going to be a lot of fun having a couple of harvesters in there. And uh, you never know, we might even see if we can get someone else to come and help us drive a grain cart or something. But there we are, that is the end. So we'll get out of the way so FSG can finish and get this all folded up. And I'm guessing we'll head back to the yard. We don't have enough seed probably to do the other field. So we'll probably take these back to the yard, get them all sorted out and ready to plant the cotton next time. It's got the truck that we're going to have to get back to the uh, farm at some stage too. Nicely done, mate. It was. I was just saying I'm really already looking forward to harvesting this one. Oh yeah. yeah get the X9s in here. It's going to be awesome. It will be. Good fun. Good fun. Alright, run these back to the yard. I'm supposing we're uh, going to have to fill them up before we do that cotton field, but we'll leave that until next time to plant. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah. Right. No, I'll see you back at the farm. Sounds good. Alright, I'm just going to sneak out here through the ditch. And uh, probably pick the steepest part, but we have a very grunty case. Right, let us get our flashes on and we will get back down to the farm. Alright, we're back here at the farm. There is farm some guy rolling in. Nice one, mate. Yeah, very well done. We'll uh, leave those a little bit dirty and get them cleaned off once we've planted the next field, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, we'll get them topped up and ready to um, start the next episode, I guess. Yes, and uh, by then we'll probably have some crops that need some uh, herbicide put on them as well. Yes, indeedy. Uh, I was just saying we'll maybe try the new uh, the new case spray that came out this week. Oh yeah, we'll have to have a chat to the uh, dealer and see if we can get a demo or something. Yeah, sounds like a plan. All right, mate. Oh, pleasure as always. Thank you for your hard work, and I guess we'll catch you next week. Yes, indeed. Thanks again, mate. We'll see you soon. Yep, sounds good. Cheers, mate. Bye. Cheers, bye. All right, there you go. We are uh, all done for today. We'll wrap things up. We've obviously got the Patriot over here and uh, we might look at getting one of the Tridents just to compare the two of them and run them together. We uh, obviously, last time we did any herbicide, it was really a one-man job. Uh, so it'd be good to be able to both get out there and get some of our weeds dealt to. That was another good episode. We've got almost all our planting wrapped up, which is fantastic, just the cotton to go. So from me, Argzy, and that man who just vaporized the farm some guy, thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.